Hey everyone, it's Lisa. I'm just putting my earrings on. I decided I, I wasn't even going to wear any, but I decided to um, put some hoops on. <laughs> I am upstairs in my room. Several of you had said that you missed my room. That made me feel good because I had people saying they missed downstairs before. So I came back up here to do just a quick little video today. My friend Meredith that owns Maven, here it is, Maven Beverly Hills sent me another goodie box with some hair products and I've been using them now. I think I got the box on, must have been on Friday. I used them Friday night and last night and I wanted to go ahead and show them to you because I want to go ahead and put them in my shower and keep them there and not have to worry about I've been keeping them together to show you guys. She always sends these cool little cards that she has. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you what she sent me because I really think some of you guys will like this stuff. It's very, it's like products that we all love, but a good, really good version. Okay, this is the Melu Shampoo Anti-Breakage Lustrous Shampoo for a longer, long and damaged hair. Shampoo, um, okay, da, 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 with linseed extract. Anyway, it's very good for your hair. Let me read what she says about it. Um... Okay, perfect for your hair texture, which would be frizzy, <laughs> frizzy and damaged. And this is the conditioner, um, anti-breakage conditioner. This is so neat. I had to undo it. It reminds me of like Lush or something, but um, both of them, anyway, just make your hair feel really good, very conditioned, and I love shampoos that make your hair feel like there's a good coating on it like where every hair has its own like protective coating and you know it's like real um has lots of body it's not just so conditioned that it kind of mats it together so love these and then this is probably there's i don't know these next three things are the most exciting i think this is the and that was um davines is the brand this is the love hair smoother lovely Taming smoother for coarse or frizzy hair um, with olive oil extract, olive extract. Okay, it's in a couple different languages, so I get mixed up. Love this. Okay, you put it in, and everything smells so good. It's not a Aveda type smell, and it's not a perfumey type smell. It's almost like a sweet, um, light candy type smell, is what I would say love this I have noticed a big difference when I put this in I don't have to use like an oil or something at the end of my blow dry a lot of times when I get through blow drying my hair my ends will just be still so frizzy that I have to put the phyto stuff in or just some kind of you know and I still do that like every other time regardless because I've gotten to where I wash my hair every night now and the reason for that is my scalp all of a sudden it's like as soon as I turned like 45 and 46, you know, my skin has changed and my scalp and, you know, everything has changed. And I'm not going to use that M word, <laughs> but I know that's what it is. And um, so I have just found that I am willing to go through the hassle of washing my hair. Plus, I love taking a shower every night, shaving my legs, shaving everything you know, um, and feeling that clean feeling before I go to bed. I just love it. And I love feeling fresh and clean every morning, you know, and I don't like, I never did like taking a shower without washing my hair. It just does not feel right to me. So there we go with that. But, um, so anyway, I have used this. I love it. It makes your hair just feel so good. I um, really, really love this. Okay. And then this is something so neat. It's protective hair perfume and it's by Sasha. Sasha Juan, <laughs> and it is like a boyfriend scent. Um, oh my God, it smells so good. I mean, it smells so good. It smells, it reminds me of maybe that, um, this fragrance right here, the DS and Durga. I can't remember what the actual name of this was. Oh, DeBazer. It kind of reminds me of that. Or like a Lexington Avenue from bond number nine or something. Oh, it just smells so good. And what we've been doing is just taking it and putting a couple of sprays like in the back. Brooke and I have been using it. And um, it just smells so good. But the neat thing about this is, oh, you guys will love that. 
Um, let's see, do, 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 do. hair perfume, most unique product ever. Not only does it smell great, it is a UV protectant sunscreen. It actually breaks down odors in hair, not camouflage. So it's good for like if you have second day hair or if you went out the night before. I remember those nights. <laughs> I don't do them anymore, but oh, it just smells so good. So I really think you guys would love this. And how awesome of a gift would that be? That's kind of in my mind right now because I know Christmas is coming. And I've kind of got that in my mind. So I might have to get some of those for gifts. And I have no idea how much any of these cost. But what I'm going to do is put Meredith's channel and her information down below. You guys will love her. And you've probably heard of her from Alex, HRH Collection. She has been doing her hair and her extensions. And she's just the sweetest. She came to see me in Los Angeles, and I got to meet her, so I was really excited. Okay, this is something I thought I would show you. It's the Ocean Mist Professional Hair Care. And um, Ocean Mist, this is the best surf spray ever. What makes it so special, it is the sugar-based, not salt-based, which means it won't remove the shine from your hair like a typical surf spray. Spray in your dry hair to create texture second or second day hair. It also doubles as dry shampoo. You can spray directly on the roots when your hair feels greasy. Okay, yesterday I wanted my hair to be kind of um, messy and I used this and I loved it. But today I'm just gonna use it um, right there on the roots to give it just a little bit of, um, and I want you to see how good it is. gives you instant bedhead and then of course I'll just straighten out those pieces but it gives you that instant little bit of lift especially like my, today my hair is more slick and everything because I have the smoother in it and I flat ironed it but and this also has that smell is this the same it is it's the same um I was gonna say designer the same what am I trying to say maker the the same brand as the other so it might be a similar smell is it this one's just stronger oh it just smells so good it's giving me butterflies you guys know how i am about sexy men fragrances and that's what this is so love these and i wanted to be able to tell you about them and brooke and i are using them i had to get this out of her bathroom so that i could tell you and not have to look for it everywhere start using it okay and i thought i would take this opportunity i've only been talking eight minutes that's good thought I would take this opportunity to do like a little vlog and ask some questions from you guys and get you to help me with some things that I've been thinking about and I always like that because then you know if you've been wondering the same thing then you can read the answers below too okay this is a silly thing but I would love to know your favorite pillow John and I have been talking about this we have tried so many pillows we have tried the my pillow which I told John I'm gonna try that again because I ended up giving it to my parents because John didn't like it and they loved it and I ended up getting my dad another one and they love it so I feel like I should try that again but what we want I was telling John last night we were trying to describe what we wanted we like a squishy pillow that's real soft but still maintains body I mean it's still um, substantial so if you have a favorite pillow or pillow brand I would love to know it because we end up every night swapping pillows you know I like this one here here's this one you know and um, so I was gonna ask you guys that okay today I wanted to use oh today I used um, that Smashbox stuff again I used the Marc Jacobs foundation I used the Kat Von D powder which I love and I used the Smashbox um, contour that little kit I used the big Smashbox um, like blush palette today I did not use any highlight because the other day you could just see every imperfection in my skin I just had on way too much highlighter so I just used the matte highlight from the that little Smashbox contour palette and I used the Smashbox little eye palette and I used that color that I was telling you about that is just like a nude color and then I used the lightest color and I wanted a brown eyeliner I didn't want to use black because I kind of wanted to keep it just a little bit softer and so I pulled out my wet and wild dark brown liner and it was just dried up or whatever and so I wrote down here what is your favorite dark brown either pen liner or liquid liner gel I like gel liners okay but it seems like they just get clumpy and they dry out but if you have a really good 
dark brown, I mean almost black, dark brown, not a warm tone, a cool tone liner. I would love to know what that is. Okay, so that's it. Oh, and um, full disclosure, I when I did my eyes with those two shadows, I probably could have gotten away with it in person, but when I decided I might do a video, I went ahead and put a little bit of Naked by Urban Decay, just the single, everyone needs that shadow, the Urban Decay Naked in my crease to intensify it a little bit more. So I didn't want you to think it was just those two last colors from Smashbox. I had to put a little bit of Naked in there to accent it a little bit more, but I still think it's such a soft, pretty look. Okay, almost finished. Manicure. Last night, I painted my nails. I got another gift box yesterday from my friend Denise, and she sent me a lot of goodies that I will end up, I'll show you sometime this week, if not on Friday, but probably before then. But, um, and this is a nail polish that she sent me that is so pretty. It is a Nails Ink from Netta Porter, and it's, um, I believe it was Alice and Olivia, and I love it. See, it's not really black. It's like a dark, dark Merlot. It's that perfect color. And my nails have grown out, and the shape they are is the shape that they just were shaped last time I had a, a manicure. And I've had two manicures lately, and this is what I wanted to ask you guys. Um, it seems like when you get a manicure, and I just go to any of those places that you just walk in and get a manicure, you know? Um, it seems like they, you know, instead of... They push back your cuticles and then they do a lot of that cuticle cutting all around your nails and they do it all around in here and they've hurt me a couple of times right here and it just seems like that it makes your fingernails um, make more or it makes them even build up even more and what I wanted to ask you is what you thought about that because a long time ago I heard not to let them cut your cuticle to make them either buff it off or just push them back. So I'm curious what you think about that because that's just something that I noticed and I don't want to go get another one if it's going to make me have to keep on because I'd always done my nails myself. So tell me your best tips about um, that and um, cuticle. If any of you have like major cuticles like I do, like I'll push them back, but they're like right there. I've got to do something with it. Should I just buff it off or what should I do? Okay, and then the last thing my lips. I have not had any lip filler in my lips in I think almost okay I'm gonna say I haven't had my lips done in almost um, I think two years. I think I'd written it down like full-on lip filler. Okay one time I did have and this was back when I had my uh, Master Pexy and my eyelids done um, just so happens that the breast implants that they used, this is like TMI, um, was, it was the same brand as, if any of you had get those um, Botox points, the Brilliant Distinctions, so I had some points to use, so I ended up getting um, just a little bit, I think like a half a vial of filler put in right here and in my tear trough area, and um, she had a little teeny bit left, and I did have her put it like right there in the very top. But other than that, I haven't had them done. And you can tell, I've even had people comment that my lips look dry and wrinkly and old and all that kind of stuff. So, this is my thing. I've not been liking the way my mouth just looks. And, and I know, the thing is, I know that it is probably because of the Invisalign. But I was curious um, if any of you guys, what you have done around your mouth. Do you have Botox around your mouth? My wrinkles aren't, uh, you can't really see it. When I talk, you can see like right here. They aren't the thin kind that you fill in with filler. They're more, um, I don't know, they're just bigger. You, I'm sure you can see them. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe if I get um, a little bit of filler put in my lips, it might um, stop that a little bit. Um, and I know that people that get Botox right here, I've only had that done one time and it was a long time ago, that that helps your lip from, you know, pointing as much when you talk. So I was just going to throw that out there and see if any of you get anything done like that. Probably what I'm going to do is nothing and just suck it up and wait until I'm through with my Invisalign and see what happens. But it was just a thought and I wanted to see what you thought. And that was it. And my, um, let's see, I've got my little knot necklace on from Oliver. I don't know if you guys noticed I did not even go there this week. 
I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't in the shopping mood this week. And I've told you guys, and I don't want to, like, keep on and keep on, but the election has just taken over my mind. And so I've been kind of really into that, just wanting to watch the news. And it's just all I think about right now. And so, but it's almost over, and I feel like my mind will be back on um, <laughs> shopping, and I'll be better with my Instagram and everything else. Um you know, but now just, I don't know, it's just all I can think about, and um, so, where was I going with that, oh, my outfit, and then I don't have on any shoes yet, and I've just got on my Corey jeans, which reminds me, I was watching a girl the other day that T.T. Sandra suggested, and she did a video on 10 things I wear too much, and I thought, gosh, that is a great video idea, because that's how I feel sometimes, it's like, I've got all these jeans, and I always go back to my Corey jeans, you know. I've got all these um, rings, and I always wear this ring. Or I've got all these lipsticks, and I always wear this one. So, I think I might do that. And I will try to, um, anyway, I'll be thinking about it and try to do that soon, because I think that would be a neat, it's kind of like a favorites video. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. I'm going to start working on my vlog tonight, probably. Um, John and I went somewhere all day yesterday, so I didn't get to work on it. But, um, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.